President Obama has just a few weeks left in office, and one of his last stops is right here in Florida. President giving his last national security speech in office. ABC 7's Alan Cohn joins us now live from MacDill Air Force Base in Tampa with more. Alan. Scott, just a reminder, MacDill Air Force Base is not only the home of U.S. Central Command, it is also the home of Special Operations Command, you know, the folks that got Osama bin Laden. The president came here not only to thank the incredibly brave men and women who are here, but also to throw down a marker to the next administration, specifically that you can defeat terrorism without defeating or compromising the nation's ideals. It was billed as the president's last major speech on the nation's strategy in the war against terrorism. In a hangar full of military personnel, the president says ISIS has been decimated, it has lost territory, and is on the run. But he warned the nation against a state of perpetual war. He called on Congress to pass a new authorization to specifically go after ISIS. In not so many words, he cautioned the up incoming Trump administration about using torture as well as referring to the battle as a war against Islam. We are fighting terrorists who claim to fight on behalf of Islam. But they do not speak for over a billion Muslims around the world. And they do not speak for American Muslims, including many who wear the uniform of the United States of America's military. If we stigmatize good patriotic Muslims, that just feeds the terrorist narrative. It fuels the same false grievances that they use to motivate people to kill. If we act like this is a war between the United States and Islam, we're not just going to lose more Americans to terrorist attacks, but we'll also lose sight of the very principles we claim to defend. The president also once again called for the closing of Gitmo, a promise that he made when he entered office eight years ago but was never able to fulfill. We'll have more on the president's visit to Mattel Air, Air Force Base coming up on ABC 7 at 7 in just about an hour. Reporting live from Mattel Air Force Base, Alan Cohn, ABC 7, your Suncoast News.